Val's going to be in the red. Grace is going to be in the green. Grace looks pretty fired up here. She's trying to go. As does Val. Grace really working the head there. She's got some strong collar ties. Val's, I think she's got experience in freestyle, so she's working those over ties. Both girls very aggressive. Grace really with those hands in the face, though, trying to get her off guard. But Vale, known Val is known for her slide by. She's gonna secure two with a slide by. Val's a two-time Fargo finalist. She won one year, lost another year. But honestly, just an amazing athlete overall. Looks like she's got a claw underneath. She's working over top. We're going to bar in. Grace is doing a great job defending, stopping her hands, trying not to let her get that secured. But Val's really got the bar tight. We'll see if she's able to put away the match early, possibly. And she's running that bar. It looks like she's got that nice and tight. But Grace doing a great job rolling out, defending. She's going to secure those three points, though. Grace now on a front head. In position to score here. We'll see if she's able to do that. Nice little scramble action, some rolls going on there. But they're back up. Grace is going to get her one point. Another slide by there for Val. They're back in the center. This has been action packed already, and that's really what you see in the finals matches here. Once again, Grace is posting on the head, trying to create her angles. Val really working her out of bounds. Working her out, bringing her back in, keeping that pressure heavy. Nice little slide action there. Doing a great job setting that up. Seven to one. Val up. Val's head coach is Brian Krenzelek. Grace's coach, Frank Bain. Both uh, coaches obviously phenomenal based off of these girls' accolades. And honestly, just watching them wrestle, you could tell. Grace, once again, she's really trying to set up those angles. She's very aggressive on top, or in neutral position here. Ooh, a nice scramble action there by these girls. But Val, it's going to be Val who's going to secure the two points. Grace is on her back here. We'll see if she's able to get out, defend. Nice bridge there. Score is nine to one. Another three there for Val. So down a little position here. Grace is gonna get two for a reversal here. But we've seen Val got into some positions where Grace was able to score out of, but then Val just gets right back up. A little potentially dangerous though, there. Val's gonna be on bottom, Grace on top. on top, Grace, but Val doing a nice job. This is where they were earlier in the match. We'll see if uh, she's able to score from here. Val's gonna get one here. 13 to three, up by 10. Once again, Val's really doing a great job putting her right to her back from these takedowns. We'll see if she could end the match here. That's gonna be a pin for Valerie Solorano. And she's really slapping the match. She's excited here. Congrats, Vale, you're the 2024 PIAA state champion for the first ever event in the girls. This is history right here. Val's the first ever champion for the girls. What a beautiful smile there. Number one Taylor Swift fan right there. That was an awesome match by Val. Great job by Grace. Runner up, that's awesome. Congrats Vale, that's amazing. And that was a great way to put away the first match. Nice pin, see how excited she is. That's just awesome for her, so congrats. Begins 
started with the next match soon, 106. That'll be up and coming with Julia Horger and Madeline Ennerline. stitching and materials. Our business model basically is really simple. It's treat the customer how we want to be treated. Great action on the other mats. We want our wrestlers to that. feel confident that when they step on the mat, their uniforms will perform as well as they do. It's making sure the customer gets what they want all the time. Good. Season 151-18 career. 
Madeline was keeping on the shot there, but Julia is able to stuff that. She's still trying to get that. Julia, Julia has good defense here. There's a minute left in the first period. They both are pretty heavy on the head. Their shot attempt by Julia, but not able to get that. Madeline's in on a shot here, but they call a stalemate, so they're back up to their feet. Nice shot by Julia and Louise. Trying to go for the ball here. Let's see if she's able to get it. She's got 17 seconds left here. Madeline's putting up a fight. Five seconds left. Let's see if she's able to get this. Looks like she's going to survive this round. We're going to go into the second corner. Green's going to get choice. Let's see what she's going to do here. She chose top. Madeline's got a bar right off the bat. Let's see if she's able to work from here. She's got, she's got that tight. Let's see if she's able to, potentially dangerous. Caution there for Julia. Madeline's trying to get the bundle there to a cradle. She's got a minute and 20 seconds left into the second period. She's up 5-0 right here, but Madeline's got that bundle tight. but Julia has good defense down there, so I don't know if she's going to be able to get that. She's fighting hard, though. 45 seconds left into this left of this period. Stall call for Julia. She's gonna need to base up or try to get out now. Madeline's back on that, that arm bundle, but she hasn't been able to get any backs off of it. I think she's going to go neutral. I mean, she was good there. She might try top, but I think neutral. Yep, she picks neutral. Now, Julie has Chucky Connor in her corner. Madeline has John Reynolds. A little scramble there, but Julia is trying to get her two. Oh, she secured that. The score is now seven to zero, and Julia's trying to put her on her back here. Let's see. If
still fighting there. Madeline has a leg. Julia can't do much there. There's a minute and 15 seconds left. Madeline still has that leg. She's fighting there. Trying to square back up with her. Trying to finish her double. Let's see if she's able to do that. Good top pressure from Madeline here. And another stone. The score is now 7 to 3, but Julia's going to step over that leg. And Julia got the two. Now the score is 9 to 3. 30 seconds left. Yeah. Julia's got a boot in there. She might be trying to get some bags here. No bags, but five seconds left. Good job to Julia there. That was a tough match, but she was able to pull through and she got the job done. She's now the first 106 pound PIAA -P state champ. So now I'm passing thing, the microphone to Jacqueline Basaki. All right, we have a little break here before the boys PIAA and PI Triple A. Here with me. <laughs> Lady Fortis is getting ready to wrestle. Hi, I'm Jacqueline. <laughs> we have Lane Fortis going up against Journey Rodriguez. Lane is a sophomore from Bishop McCourt. And Journey is a junior coming out of J.P. Let's meet our place winners at 107 pounds in Joy. Lane has a record of 29 and 4, and Journey and has a record of 30 and 1. Dakota Santa Maria. In seventh place, from Trinity, Jordan Mignette. In sixth place, from Pearl, Ann Baker. In fifth place, from Baltimore area, Tanner Gano. In fourth place, from Northern Lebanon, Sam Wolford. Placing third, from Wauhegan, Thomas Boyce. Your runner-up from Chestnut Ridge is Dominic Deputy. Hey. 
and your 2024 107-pound double-A champion, Joey Buckman from the Christian Academy, a six one winner today. Congratulations, Joey Buckman, and all of your 107-pound double-A place winners. Now let's meet our girls 100 pound place winner. Fishing in eighth place from Hempfield, Patty Mack. Finishing in seventh place from Bellwood Antis, Julian Cuevas. Finishing in sixth place from Montour, Kristen Walzer. Our fifth place finisher from Ben Salem, Nathan Hinkle. Finishing in fourth place from Parkland, Ella Hester. And third place finisher from Knock, Miranda Legitimate. A runner up for 2024 from the Chamonix, Grace Nesbitt. And please put your hands together for our very first ever Girls State Champion, winner by fall in a time of 3 minutes 14 seconds. From Kenneth McMillan, Valerie Solorio. Now we direct your attention once again to the podium for the Triple A final winners at 107 pounds. Finishing eighth from Easton, Nicholas Salomon. Finishing seventh from Whitehall, Beaumont. Finishing sixth from Peters Township, Nicholas McGarrity. Finishing fifth from Pergamon Valley, Max Cassini. Finishing fourth from Emmaus, Emilio Albanese. Finishing third from Pemsawa, fourth, Alexander Diaz. The runner up at 107 pounds from Cedar Cliff, Aiden Herndon. And your 2024 BIAA state champion at 107 pounds. With a 2 1 decision victory from Pepper Horsham, Dominic Morrison. We are wrestling on back to 112 pounds. Girls Championship out. Season A Junior from District 3 to JP McCaskey, your head coach, Kevin Franklin. Season record of 15 1, career record of 15 5 and 3. Please welcome Jeremy Rodriguez. Lane is in the green and Journey is in the red. You just got on a nice deep double. And that's two for Journey. Journey is from JP McCaskey, while Lane is from Bishop McCourt. Lane so far this year has had a 29 and 4 record, while Journey up with a 30 and 1. And that's going to be one for Lane with the escape. Journey seems to be pretty aggressive in the hand fight and really looking to score some points. He is a junior from District 3, by Rusty Wallace.
Journey back in on a shot. Berlane with a nice roll. She changes off to a single. And that's another two for Journey. Lane kind of in a sit-out position here, fighting the hands. Journey going for a suck back, but doesn't seem to get it. So far the score is 4-1, Journey with about 45 seconds left on the clock. And that's going to be one for Lane. Journey seems to try and get that two on one, but Lane taking advantage of it, trying to get an inside trip. And again, Journey with another shot. And that's going to be out. About 15 seconds left in the first period with Journey up by two. Looks like she keeps trying to set up that double. Journey was very successful yesterday in her doubles. And that's going to be it for the first period. Now into second. Lane's choice. And Lane defers to Journey. Again, Journey in with a nice double. Got a limp out, arm out of that to get the two in. That's two for Journey. Scores now 6-2. Lane back in again in the sit-out position where Journey tried to suck her back. No back points there. going to be out. Trying to get that tight waist arm bar here. Lane's doing a good time defending that. Only about a minute left in the second period. Journey this year was on the um, PA Fargo team, so I got the opportunity to train with her in the room a bit. And she's definitely a really hard worker. She has, uh, she's very great in working in all different positions, and she really deserves this. Only about 10 seconds left in the second period with Rodriguez up six to two. And that's gonna be it for the second period. Nice choice. What do you think she's gonna pick, Jack? Um, I don't know. Since she's down, I'm guessing bottom. Right off the whistle, tries to stand up, but Lane has a good time keeping her down, and she seems to be working um, that bundle that I actually was able to see her work yesterday in the semifinals. She got like two or three of them and got plen plenty of back points off of them. So I'm wondering if she'll also get it in the finals today. 
And that's going to be out. About a minute 30 left in the third period. Still 6-2. to two. Breaking down journey pretty well. And going for a power half, I believe. Kind of in a weird position here, getting close to the edge. But I think that's going to be out. Only about 55 seconds left in this third period. It's going to be injury time for Red. I know she really likes that um, kind of bundle move on top, but um, I think. So far, Journey's had a good time defending it. She might need to switch it up or even possibly cut her to get some takedown points. All right, now they're back in. Journey with a nice kind of stand up. It's going to be one for Red. Seven two, about 40 seconds left in the third period. Lane seems to be getting after it now. You can tell how much she wants this. Journey keeping on a nice collar tie when in the hand fight. Lane going for a nice shot, but Journey seems to defend it pretty well and circle it out. You kind of see Lane putting most of the pressure here, going in for a kind of trip back shot. He has good control over the wrists. Final score was seven to three, Journey Rodriguez. Once again, all medal winners, please make sure you're at the podium for 114 pounds. Alright, this one's going to be a good match. We have Savannah Witt in the red, big name there. Anna Molovich in the green, also a big name there. So you know this is going to be quite a match. Savannah's from Palisades, Anna from Butler. Both girls undefeated with their 2023-2024 uh, record. It's going to be an awesome match. In third place, the Mountain, Brock Rockwell. Your runner up is Will Devon from Trinity. And your 2024 champion, a two times champ, Ada Smith from Notre Dame Green Pond, a 7 4 winner. 
Congratulations, Amy Smith, and all of your 113 pounds on the way, 2024 medals. Let's meet our medal winners, girls 106 pounds. Finishing in eighth place from Southerton, Emily Saw. Our seventh place finisher from Southwestern, Natalie Handy. Finishing in sixth place from Northern Bedford, Kaylee Eversole. Our fifth place finisher from Garnet Valley, Reese Dewar. Finishing in fourth place from York Suburban, Alessandra Early. Our third place finisher from Hamburg, Isabel Wilkes. Our runner up this year is from Greenville, Madeline Enron. And your 2024 and very first time 106 pound champion, winning by decision score of 9 3 from Conwell Egan, Julia Forger. Congratulations to Julia for completing the perfect season and to all our 106 pound medal winners. And now, welcome to the podium the medal winners of the AAA at 114 pounds. Finishing eighth from Rita Latrobe is Leo Joseph. Finishing seventh from Penn Manor, Travis Clawson. Finishing sixth from Butler. Santino Sloboda. Your fifth place finisher from Council Rock South, Connor Olenahan. Finishing fourth from Northampton, Gabriel Bauer. Finishing third from Manline Township, Caden Williams. Your state runner up at 114 pounds from Ridley, Curtis Nelson. And winning with a 6 3 decision, your 2024 BIAA AAA state champion. From Norway, Landon Sidden. Now let's move on back to 118 pound girls championship bout. She's a junior from Palisade, Bedford, Nicola Fever. All right, we're ready here. We got Savannah with Animalovich. Animalovich is going to be a great match. Savannah is in the red, Anna in the green. Beautiful double there, double there by Savannah. <laughs> Able to get her two secured right away. That was beautiful. Now Anna right into a reversal here. You could tell this is already going to be a great match. One point there. You can tell Anna went for a little trip. Wasn't able to get it. They're back in neutral. Three to one. Three to two. Savannah. Both these girls have some really good accolades, which is awesome. Definitely, you can tell Savannah's really pushing that pace with her hands, trying to create angles. He is a sophomore, by our nice ties there by these girls. Definitely aggressive, strong. Nice fake by Anna. Color tie action, over tie action. Let's see which girl's going to score from these positions. From Savannah definitely trying to get through those doubles, which we saw in the beginning. She had a nice fake right in there. She so should keep that pressure, keep that movement, get those angles open. Nice snap by Savannah. Not able to secure any points. But once again, goes in that double. A nice throw by by Anna. Not able to secure any points. Slide by there by Anna. Ooh, Savannah's able to get a nice angle there. See if she looked like she was going for a cradle, wasn't able to get it. Let's see if she could just secure her two, but she's not able to. Under tie, over tie. Ooh, nice little slide by there. Take them right at the end. Red 
Red's choice here. Red's gonna defer. Anna is going to pick bottom. We've seen Anna work on bottom real quick. Got a quick reversal in. See if she could do that again. What's your thoughts been on these girls' matches so far? We're pretty scrappy. Savannah's got the same pace she had yesterday, but Anna is definitely a match. They're, they're pretty even here. Anna just scooting back, trying to create some pressure. Ooh, and puts Anna right to her back. Maybe she could just lock away the match here. That looks pretty tight. Anna's quite twisted there. That is some flexibility there for Anna. Savannah did secure two points, though making it nine to two, seven to two. Anna was great on bottom in the first period. We'll see if she could open up, get some, yes, there we go. Seems like there was kind of like a switch there. See what she's gonna get. She's gonna get her one. Now they're back in neutral. Both gir girls very scrappy. You can see Anna had a nice slide by there. Just creating angles, really. That color time. Anna, you can tell she's going for a headlock after she creates angles. A nice inside trip is Anna. They get two. Seven to five. Maybe get a bar there. A nice claw. She's got the other side leg trapped. But Savannah's in a nice quad pod. We'll see if she can get out. Maybe the knee slide here. Secure some extra points for the end. It's going to do it for the second period. In the third period, Savannah's choice. She's in the lead here. Only by two points. Really anything could happen. Bottom's kind of a safe choice here. Making sure she's, you know able to work out. Anna's getting set on top. Savannah's coach is Nick LaFerva. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Anna's coach is Nathan Bottiger. Savannah working here. So is Anna, keeping her strong positions. We'll see what she can do. Looks like the action slowed down a little bit. Crowd's going wild over there. Mr. Jax Forrest cleared a state title. And there's Mr. Gate here for Savannah. It's eight to five. Takedown isn't going to do it for Anna, so she's going to need a little bit more than that. And we'll see if she's able to get that. See how bad she wants it. Nice fake action. But Savannah, she's strong in these ties. She knows what's coming. Ever tie, under tie, once again. Ooh, beautiful there. This could be the move that puts away the match. We'll see, we'll see. That could be flat. It's a dominant position for Savannah. Anna's doing a great job here, though, defending with that arm. It's only 35 seconds left to go. Honestly, Savannah's been dominant that whole match, controlling everything, as is Anna, but more on the defensive side gonna secure another three. 13 to five, Savannah. Ooh, but a nice little switch. We'll see if she can pop her head. That's gonna be another two for Anna Molovic. 13 to six.
Five seconds left to go here in the third period. Savannah's just going to hang out down there and got to secure that victory. Congrats, Savannah Way, your PIAA 2024 Girls State Champion. Such a big accomplishment for her. She should be very proud of herself, as should Anna. Congrats to both these girls. Savannah Witt, great job. Great job in securing your state title. We need your third and sixth place finisher in double A. And we need the first and second place winners in triple A to the podium right now in 120 pounds.
for 2024. Finishing at 8th place from Hartwood, Silver Parry. Finishing in 7th place from Van Lyne Township, Isabel Macchio. Finishing in 6th place from Elko, Michael Trosso. Our 5th place finisher from East Stroudsburg North, Andy Gavoe. Our fourth place finisher from Columbia, Daly Watson. Finishing in third place from the Ice Court, William Rumsey. Our runner up this year is from Bishop Sport, Lane Florida. And your first half of girls won 112 on the state champion. Winning by the decision score of 7 3 from JD Rizowski. Journey to Rodriguez. Congratulations to Journey all on your 12-pound medal. And now for our AAA winner chance for one of our choice of men, State Medals in School, finishes eight. From the second round, Sophomore, her record for the season is 12 and 1, and Eliana's record is 36 and 1. So, a lot of wrestling for these girls this season. Yeah, Eliana is the national Eliana has a. Oh, I don't know. She let go of it. Good fakes from Jalissa here. She's really getting. Eliana's feet moving. One. Grant Hare from Montgomery out of District 4 is a sophomore coach by Denny Hare. His record this season is 53 0 and a career record of 99 2. Good shot attempts from Green here. Not able to finish, but she's getting to the leg. Record 49 2. Your officials are Chris. Both are hand fighting pretty hard here. She's working for a. Keeps a nice little laser kick from Delissa. Ileana keeps getting to the, the two on one here. Let's see if she could do something from it. Delissa's on a leg now, looking to finish. She has really good defense here. Trying to grab the far ankle and goes into stalemate here. They're going to reset back in the center now. Twenty seconds left of the first period, and the score is still zero to zero. So. Got the two, but that's it for the first period. The score is two to one. Ortiz. Yes. Yeah. 
Snapped her down. Chopped. She's got some heavy pressure on this time. Ortiz is able to build back up to her base. She's moving a lot on bottom, trying to fight the hands to stand up. She's got her one there. They're both moving their feet a lot here. A lot of fakes from both girls. some hand fighting here. She's trying to... Julissa has some really good blizzard kicks here, but they're all out of bounds. <laughs> 40 seconds left. Julissa's up three to one. Really on a nice on in on a shot there. Let's see if she's able to finish that. Ortiz is fighting that pretty hard, but Ileana really was able to get the two, but Ortiz is right back up to her feet. Let's see if she's able to get her one. Ooh, nice mat between them. Five seconds left. Eliana has a, a half on the other side. That's it for the second period. Eliana's choice. She chose bottom. Right up to her feet. She's she got her one. The score is now four to three. This is gonna have to move here. Yeah. Eliana's in on a shot again. Good defense from Jalissa. And she got her two right on the edge. The score is now six to three. This has got to get to work on this one. Good shot from Ileana. Alyssa got her one and she's in on a shot already. The score is now six to seven. Both girls are really heavy on the head, but Jalissa's in on a shot. Liliana is trying to get spin behind her. Back up to their feet. Awesome. seconds left. Ileana has a two on one here, but nice shot attempt from Ortiz, but she tried to sit out there, but she got caught. Uh, the score is nine to six. Ileana, she's running a bar there, but Delissa was able to reversal that. She's going to need a turner or cutter and she did a takedown. 15 seconds. Go able to get a one here, but there's five seconds left. Let's see if she's going to be able to get a takedown. She's in on a shot, but not able to finish. Oh, that was such a good match. That was such a good match from both girls. 
so much action. Eliana White Vega from Cumberland Valley is going to be a 124 pound PIAA Girls State Champion. Congratulations. Congratulations.
her girl so she's doing just great you can see they have a pretty heavy hand fight going being pretty aggressive and that's gonna be two for Aubrey Aubrey so far this season has gone 25 and 0 while Haley has gone 28 and 0 both girls actually have records here Aubrey also has an undefeated career record of 59 and 0 we see um, oh, Aubrey cut her, and that's going to be one point for Haley. And right back to the middle, you can see Aubrey, they all went out on uh, Aubrey's last double. Aubrey's a very aggressive wrestler. She's very technical as well, so it's all um, it fits together pretty well. Aubrey going to a nice shot, and she's going to sit her down and get two. So now two to one, about a minute left in the first period. She's going to cut her again. And another two for Aubrey. Aubrey trying to set up a mat return and brings her down with the shot. Kind of in a weird crackdown position here. Um, Haley has a, a good angle. She's controlling her leg, but looks like Aubrey was able to take her over. It's now six to two, Aubrey. About ten seconds left in the first period.
that's going to be it for the first period. Six to two. And it's going to be Red's choice. Aubrey to first. Haley chooses down. Abby had a great season so far. I know this summer she became a Fargo champ. Haley with a nice sit out, kind of trying to fight her way up, but Aubrey sitting her back and getting some swipes. She's very good at controlling. That's really close to a pin. I think they're going to end it here. And that's going to end it. 130, your, your champ is Aubrey Crazer out of Easton. 6-2 with a pin. Congrats, Aubrey. Here at my house, we like to focus on the uniforms. We strive to give our athletes the best possible uniform using the highest quality stitching and materials. Our business model basically is really simple. It's treat the customer how we want to be treated ourselves. We want our wrestlers to feel confident that when they step on the mat, their uniforms will perform as well as they do. It's making sure the customer gets what they want all the time.
Bravo. Finishing fourth from Baldwin, Romeo Islam. 
Finishing third from Bethel Park, Mason Hernan. Your state runner up at 133 pounds of AAA from New York Suburban, Tyler Evans. And your PI LA AAA state champion at 133 pounds with a score of 9 to 2 from Nazareth, Tahir Parkin. Gaffey, Anthony Gray, Jordan Faust in the green, Haley from Kennett, Jordan from Bishop Four. This one's going to be a great match. Both girls, highly skilled athletes. They're already back in the center, working a lot, pushing the pace. Haley's record is 15 and 0 for this season. Jordan Faust is 35 and 1. Both girls working some strong ties here. Haley and an over tie. And Jordan with the under ties. Jordan's trying to work her to the mat. Trying to create an angle score here. Put some points on the board. They already back up. Great action here. Nice uh, two on one there for Haley. But Jordan's doing a great job coming over the head and over Ty there. See if she's able to score. Ooh, a nice shot there. They're going to go out of bounds, though, but that was a nice shot by Jaffe. Jaffe is a senior. Jordan Faust is a junior. Yeah, the triple right now. The championship at 145. And still drag action by Faust. Create some angles there. Ooh, a nice shot by Jaffe. Not able to finish it. Faust did a great job countering. He wasn't, able, wasn't really able to even get to it. Pressure. That was a nice shrug, shrug there. Haley was able to work that in the middle. She probably should have, could have secured some points. So still need strong ties. Only 15 seconds left to go. It's been a great job, both of them, with these tie-ups. Both looking strong. We haven't seen much shot action, but you can tell that these ladies are strong in their ties. It's going to do it for the first period. Both girls are going really strong here. Haley Jaffe's head coach is Ed Wuchter. Jordan Faust, David Faust. Start of the second period. Here we go. Jordan doing a great job with her pressure. Although Haley's standing up here. We'll see if she can get her hips out, create some space, and be able to score a point here. Ooh, but that was a nice little mat return there by Faust. Working on the edge is both of them. Back in. They get a fresh start here, Haley. Let's see if she's able to work. Nice chop there by Faust. Ooh, a nice little uh, sit out there by Jaffe. She's able to get one point. It's gonna be the first points put up on the board. Working that tie up there is that two on one by Jaffe. We've seen that a lot this match. She goes for the low leg, not able to get it. Jordan countering. They're back in the middle, another fresh start for these ladies. They're really pushing the pressure on the edge here. They're doing a great job with that. Post on the head by Faust. Strong ties. Girls, they gotta go here. Work some angles, get some shots firing off. Can't say one person's working more than the other, other than the fact that Haley gets in a nice shot there. Not able 
able to finish it. It looks like Faust is in a great position to score, but there's Haley going around the back. See if she's able to keep her in. I'd say that's stalling there by Faust. Great match so far. Both girls in control ties here. You can see. Post on the head is Faust. Looking at overhead there. Not able to get anything with it. There's 15 seconds left to go in the second period here. Once again, awesome match so far. It's really dominant in those ties. And these girls, they're creating some good angles here. Shrug action. One second left. Faust's choice here. She's gonna go down. We haven't, have we? Haven't seen much uh, time with Faust on bottom, so we'll see what she could do. Try to circle out. He really did a great job following with her hips. Now she's really putting the pressure, trying to get Faust flat here. Let's see if she can work anything. Get some uh, back points put up on the board here. Try to secure this match. Got a two on one on top. Let's see if she's able to work that. Haley just really pressuring in here, not letting Faust try to get any points put up on this board. Doing a great job crowding with the hips. Now she's going for a claw chop. She's got to keep her hips up, knowing where she's at. Faust tries to come over the top. Haley's still in control here. No reversal for Faust. At some point, they're gonna have to give him a stalemate or something here. That's gonna be two for fouls. They're counting back there. Congrats, Jordan Faust. She secures the pin on Haley Jaffe. Jordan Faust is your 2024 PIAA Girls Wrestling State Champion. Congrats, Jordan. Awesome accomplishment for you. Just another thing on your accolades. Congrats, Haley, as well. Amazing job by both wrestlers. That was awesome. Nice way to secure the pin.
High, so maybe Violet will be able to counter this, get a reversal here, put some points up in that first period. I'm, I apologize, I have it wrong. This is Sienna Landrum, not Sarah Landrum. I apologize for that. 
So Sienna Landrum on top here, working a power half, doing a great job there, just really keeping heavy pressure on top. Ten seconds left in this first period here. Sienna doing a great job just controlling this match so far. Having a heavy ride on top, being, a, being able to secure those first points. Violet's coach is Josh Deputy. Sienna's coach is Brad Breeze. Green's gonna take down, that's Sienna. We haven't seen Violet on top yet, so we'll see how she's able to work here. Violet's only a freshman, doing a great job making her way to the state finals. Just a heavy ride on top, which we've seen that quite often. Looks like uh, Violet's going for a cradle on top. Maybe she'll be able to lock this up, put some points up. Potentially dangerous there with the knee. They're gonna reset. Once again, just heavy pressure by Violet. Sam doing a great job though. She's got a nice knee slide, so she's able to work. Violet comes out to the front, looking for a turn here, and she may get it. She's got Sienna all twisted up. She's just working on top here. She's got that one arm across her body. Coming around front. Trying to see what she could work here. And she may be able to punch this. Got to keep her levels good. But Sienna doing a great job defending. She's got that arm trapped. Violet is running that over. Ooh, and she's going to get it. Not straight to her back, though. So she's not securing any back points here. But Sienna is twisted up. And there's the swipes. He's counting. She's got a, Sienna's got a watch here. She's close to her back with still 30 seconds left to go. But this is awesome for Violet. She's securing these points. And that's flat. Violet Leisure is your 2024 PIAA state champion. Awesome accomplishment. Just a fun fact about Violet. Violet loves to fish. But congrats, Sienna. State runner-up, another awesome accomplishment. Congratulations, both girls. Awesome job, Violet. This PIAA wrestling broadcast is brought to you in part by the Ultimate Club Duels Freestyle Championships, North America's largest girls and boys freestyle tournament hosting two events this spring. Our girls event May 3rd through 5th in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and our boys event June 7th through 9th at Ursinus College. New spring location, same great tournament with some of the best teams and freestyle wrestlers from over 25 states. For more information, please visit ultimateclubduels.com. Mountaineers know. Let's go! Really means, let's try. Let's create. Let's explore. Yeah! 
and let's do it all together.
by a 4-1 decision from Central Mountain, Luke Simcox. Starting off here at 148, we, we have Charlotte Gilfoyle in the green. Zoe Haynes in the red. Both these girls are juniors. Charlotte from Central Dolphin. Zoe Haynes from Gettysburg area. We're going to see what these girls are made of, see what they can do out here in the final. Charlotte Guilfoyle, it's a very nice record, 30 and 0. Zoe Haynes, 32 and 2, also amazing. Career record, Zoe Haynes is 100, 111 and 14, which is awesome. Lots of pressure going on here. It looks like Zoe Haynes is in better head position, yet Charlotte, she's carrying more of the hand position here. Just keeps pressuring in. Charlotte's trying to use that two-on-one. I think to drag it down to the mat there. A nice shot there by Zoe Haynes. We'll see what she can do with this. And she's able to get the two there. It's gonna put her in the lead 2-0 here in the first period. Zoe Haynes' coach is Chris Haynes, Charlotte Guilfoyle's coach, James Collins. Zoe Haynes is doing a good job keeping pressure on top here. Looking for a crossface cradle. We'll see if she's able to lock that up. And it looks like she's got that lock. Now she's just got to do something with it. But it's Charlotte who's doing a great job defending that. Almost standing up. Zoe's got to watch where she's at. She's going to secure some back points here. That's three back for Zoe Haynes. That's 5 0. There's going to be two for reversal for Charlotte. She was able to get out of there quite nicely. It's five to two now. There's some challenging over here on Zoe Haynes' coaches, trying to get rid of that two reversal there. Both girls definitely looking mentally strong, physically strong, doing a great job here. Zoe Hank is neutral after Charlotte defers. And that's a common theme, deferring in the, when you have that choice. See what you can do in the third period. Both girls headstrong, but it's really Charlotte who's getting to those ties, those hand ties, really trying to work from there. Pull it down, have it set something up here. Two on one again by Charlotte. We saw that a lot yesterday as well in her semifinals. She was able to put that away quickly. Once again, that two on one. We'll see what she could do from there. Both girls, good action here. Not many shots being fired off, but definitely strong ties. Just no shots. And a nice sweep single by Zoe Haynes. We'll see if she's able to secure that. But it's Charlotte doing a great job putting her hips away. Making sure that she's spread out on bottom. Just in this position still, Charlotte doing a great job defending that. They're back up here. This is a fresh start for both girls. Zoe Haynes ready to go here.
Still some great wrestling action going on. Nice collar tie there by Charlotte. Snap, trying to set some stuff up. About 30 seconds left to go. Both do, girls still doing a great job. Again, like I said, not many shots being fired off. These girls are really working upper body. So let's go, going for a trip here, maybe something big. Nope, right back to that two on one, which she seems comfortable with. Sometimes it's not gonna get you your takedowns that you need. Still just working that. You can tell she's trying to get enough pressure to the point where she's able to drag it down, spin behind, get her two. But that's gonna do it for the second period. Zoe Haynes looks pretty confident here. Charlotte's choice, so she'll be able to get a move here. Charlotte's gonna go top. I don't think we've seen uh, Zoe Haynes work on bottom yet. As well as Charlotte on top. So this will be a great third period. It's heavy pressure on top by Charlotte. Looks like she's trying to get her flat by circling around, putting pressure to one side. A nasty cross face there. Zoe Haynes puts that hand to the outside of her head. Trying to create some space, maybe get an angle to escape there. Once again, Charlotte, those nasty cross faces there. Legs in for Charlotte. We'll see if she's able to secure any back points. A set would do it here for Charlotte. Get that overtime match. She's doing a great job, heavy pressure. Zoe Haynes is spread out on bottom, not able to really work up. That's gonna be stalling for red there. Zoe Haynes hit with stalling. Well see, Charlotte's looking strong here, like she's about to hit something. Great match so far, honestly. This is the last period, so if Charlotte wants something, she's gonna have to go out there and get it. See how bad she really wants this match. Charlotte taking some time to get set on top. Not hit with the stalling, though. And there's her stalling warning. Nasty with those cross faces. Once again, absolutely dirty but no calls there, so if it works, it works. Now she's right back where she was earlier, with legs in, you can tell. Which I think she's trying to get red hit with stalling, get Zoe Haynes just stalling, because not much action's really working, even though she's got those legs in. Another stalemate there. It's another fresh start, see what these girls can get. Surprise Charlotte didn't try to cut her in the first period, maybe try to secure some points, although there wasn't much action from neutral. So this may have been the better option. Nice little half on one side. Going with spiral. She comes out front trying to hit something big here. Can she get it? Three seconds left to go. And another two there for Zoe Haynes. That's gonna secure Zoe Haynes uh, PIAA 2024 state title. Congratulations, another historic weight there. Congrats Charlotte as well, state runner up. Awesome job, both girls. Congratulations, Zoe Haynes.
All right, we're starting off the finals here. 155 with Leanne, Lena Rumpler from North Albany in the red, and Avery Rall, Hickory in the green. Both girls seem to be very aggressive when they're landing their ties there. Ooh, a nice little sweep there from Lena. Not able to finish it, though. Center and back to center there. Let's see what happens here. Oh, a nice little shrug there by Avery. Not able to do anything with it. Ooh, another nice little truck there. Seems to be the theme here. I believe both these girls have um, freestyle experience. I can't be 100% sure. But that's where these upper body, upper body ties, I think, really come from, where they're just in the collar tie, working wrist, stuff like that. Avery has a record of 25 and 2 for the season. Lena Rumpler, 35 and 1. Both great records. 
Once again, working those ties, Lena's got really good head pressure there, as is Avery. Nice little fake there by Rumbler. Once again, just, these girls are dominant in their ties, but it looks like Avery, after every time that an ankle opens up, she kind of bounces. So we'll see if Lena's able to catch that and time it. Head position there, nice fake by Lena Rockler. Two on one, ooh, a nice shot there by Lena. We'll see if she can finish that. Looks like they're in a, ooh, and that's gonna be time. No points scored. That was a nice little scramble they have. First little contact of the match. Avery on bottom here. Haven't been able to see them work anything. Definitely a tight ride on top. It looks like she's gonna uh, hook the leg there. So she'll be able to do something with that. Very dominant on top, definitely. You could tell she's really heavy pressure. Avery has competed on Team PA for some national events, which is awesome. Yeah, and just in that same position, Lena's got some nice wrist control, though. Avery's working to stand up. We'll see if she can get her hips out. And then Lena's going to come to the double. A nice little high crotch throw there. They're up. That's going to be one for Avery. And you can tell Avery's just standing up after every rep. Well, after every little move there. Some collar ties going. Nice shot by Avery. We'll see if she's able to finish that. Overhead here. Looks like they're getting a little off balance. Belina looks like she's in good position to score. She's just gotta really clear that elbow, but they're back up once again. The girls are really working here. Awesome match so far. Nice little low single there by uh, Lena. She's not able to finish it though, but she looks like she's in good position. She's not spread out yet. We'll see if she's able to score here. Still stuck here. It's gonna be a stalemate. They're back up. Fresh position to score with 12 seconds left to go. 12 seconds, we'll see if anything could happen. Get some more points on the board. 1-0 Avery currently. This little snap action, wrist snaps going by Lena. That's gonna do it for the second period here at 155. Lena's choice, she's going bottom. I don't, we haven't seen her work here yet. Maybe she'll be able to pull a reversal out, something like that. Let's put some more points up on the board. They're wrestling here, start of the third period. Avery doing a great job with the pressure, pressing her out, but Lena was quick to stand up, so we'll see if she's able to get that again. one Avery, as I had mentioned. So honestly, this is anybody's game right now. Avery scores some back points that should secure the match. Lena's holding on that wrist. Um, Avery's got a tight ride on top, definitely. She's going for that leg in. She's got it tight, that's nice. Looking for a power half. Looks like she's just sitting here. Trying to show the ref how Lena's not doing much, but she's got that leg in, so can't be considered too much stalling. Power half, looks like she's working for it. It's a minute, 15 seconds left to go here. See what she's able to get. All right, they're back. Fresh new start, this could be good for Rumpler. Maybe she'll be able to score here, get out, get some points up. Quick to 
jump there. Fortunately, not able to build all the way up. But Avery's still doing a great job with that ride. It's like she's trying to keep that leg trapped, and just keep her more of her weight to one side. Lena's got to go here. Yes, and Avery's hit with stalling here, as you can tell. She's really pushing her, pushing her to the edge, really making sure she can't score any points. Lena's got 46 seconds left to go. This is plenty of time here for her. Let's we'll see if she's able to get out. As long as she's quick to her feet, you know, Avery kind of just really put the pressure that time. No quick starts for her, so that's good for her. As her coaches are yelling, Rumble's got to really build her base, really want this, honestly, want this PIAA state title. Still, Avery's got that leg in with 20 seconds left to go. We'll see if she's able to get out. Looks like Avery's working a power half there. Just keeping those legs tight there. Just up, all the way up. And that's going to be Avery Rawls secured her PIAA state title. Congratulations. That's an amazing accomplishment. Both of these girls were seniors, so this is a great way for Avery to end her career as a high schooler. That's awesome. I believe she committed to Lock Haven. I can't be 100% sure, but I believe I saw that. So congratulations. Good luck on your college career. That's amazing for you. PIAA 2024, 155 state champion. Congratulations.
Sorry, Jail Miller is actually red. Mike Krieger, green. So Jail's off to a dominant start here. He's able to get some shots fired right away. Krieger is doing a great job defending. Another shot there for Jail. She's gonna put her right to her back there. Beautiful takedown right to her back is Jail. Jail up 4-0 currently, just heavy on top here, giving some heavy pressure. Work and a half here. Jail. Mai's doing a great job on bottom defending though, which is good. Looks like she's going for a bundle here. She's got that one arm to the opposite side. Let's see what she could do with it. Yeah, and Jill's just doing a great job with that pressure on top. Less than a minute left to go, and she's really working that bundle there. And just same position here. Uh, Jail looked very dominant yesterday in her semifinals match. It's awesome, as did Maya. Both these girls are juniors, ready to secure a sanctioned PIAA state title. Again, just a heavy ride on top by Jail. Just working the wrist. Not many um, moves really be, being thrown. Still heavy pressure. There's about five seconds left to go, and she's got a half. That's going to do it for the first period here at 170. Not much action, but Jail came out, and she was dominant. She was able to put um, Maya right to her back there. Maya's, nope, Jail's gonna be down, Maya on top here. We haven't seen Jail down yet, so hopefully she'll be able to score some points and get an extra lead here in the second period. Definitely quick with that, and a nice little switch too, that's awesome. It's gonna put her in the lead 6-0. One ref called potentially dangerous. Couldn't really see what the call was there. One point green. Don't know what the call was there, but that was potentially dangerous. One point green there. But this is a fresh start for Maya on bottom as she got reversed in the beginning of the period. Just heavy pressure by Jail this whole match, honestly. She's just been very dominant on top, dominant in neutral. I'm surprised she hasn't cut her, um, getting some, try to get some extra points on the board here. Looks like she's working a two on one there. She's got the two on one. Now she's one on one there. Still not much on top. Okay, and she's got a bar in there. We'll see if she could run that. Looks pretty tight there, not gonna lie. Maybe she should, maybe she could secure this right now. And that's a pin for Jail May Miller. PIAA 2024 state champion. Awesome accomplishment as a junior. Amazing, she'll have a run next year as well. 
Correct. Congratulations, Jail Miller, on your PA State title. Awesome job. Congrats to Maya as well. Great match there. do it all together. Few things in life are more important than showing up. And whether you show up for your family, friends, or teammates, it doesn't hurt to bring a plate of their favorite beef dish. Together, we bring more. Find your next crowd pleaser at beefitswhatsfordinner.com. Great and well, Fort Perry in fifth place. 
In fourth place, Missouri City, Connor Holmes. In third place, Missouri City, Green Connor, Keegan Ramsey. Your runner up on Northwest, Lehigh, Luke Pagazuto. And your champion in Faith Christian Academy, Adam Waters, winner by fall in the 141. Congratulations, Adam Waters, and Paul Arnold, at the 172 double A. At 190 pounds finals, we have Alyssa Favara from Bishop McCourt in the red and Natalie Rush in green from Cannon McMillan. It's going to be a great match. Right off the bat, Alyssa has a beautiful little shrug there. Now she's working a bundle here. Alyssa from Bishop McCourt, lots of athletes in the finals they brought. Awesome. She's going to cut her. Very aggressive there. Both very uh, strong in their ties here. We'll see if Alyssa can get another shrug there. Got a nice two on one, see what she can work. Ooh, a nice there, nice little drag from that two on one. Not able to secure any points though. Inside trip attempt, not able to get that. Another inside trip. Except now she's able to land that. Nicely done. Another two points for Alyssa. Natalie doing a great job though on bottom. Not getting turned. And just like that, Alyssa locks up a half there. We'll see if she could end this real quick. That looks tight. She already secured her three back points. Alyssa's coach is Dave Faust. Natalie Rush's coach, Ryan Krentelik. She's got a nice break by Natalie Rush. We'll see if it's enough to keep her off her back for the next 20 seconds. And that's flat. Alyssa Fabra is your 2024 PIAA state champion. Congratulations, Alyssa. Amazing accomplishment. Wonderful job. Congrats, Natalie Rush, as well. 
State runner-up, Alyssa, senior year state champion. Congratulations. Refuel, recharge, replenish with milk. Brought to you by the Allied Milk Producers.
meet our medalist in 189. Go away, in eighth place, Chase Griffin, Katie Wagner. In seventh place, competitor, Akali Daniels. In sixth place, Tim Clearfield, Carter Chamberlain. In fifth place, Sam Frazier, Jackson Hansen. In fourth place, Lucas McDevitt, Lucas Walker. In third place, Paul Blair, Kayla Close. Your runner up from Southern Columbia is Garrett Garcia. And your champion, Bob Huntington, Andrew McMonigo, 8 7 winner. Finals, we have Brenda Banks from Panther Valley in the green, McKenna Atkinson in the red from Soderton area. This is, our, this is our last match of the PIAA State Finals. So far, this has been awesome. The girls, first ever time being sanctioned. These matches, they were scrappy. They were fun to watch, really, and that's what it's all about. Also, a huge shout out to Chris Atkinson, McKenna's father, because he was a huge part of this in making sure that this all came together. He started from the very get go and really pushed everything. Both girls strong in their ties. Both these girls really like upper body. I was able to commentate their matches yesterday. We saw a lot of upper body work. Brenda was hitting some doubles. McKenna really going for those headlocks with work. Brenda is a sophomore. McKenna is a freshman. Brenda has a beautiful record of 30 and 0. McKenna 30 and 4. It's like McKenna went for that headlock. Brenda was able to get out of that. Both these girls definitely love those upper body ties. McKenna goes for a little uh, knee tap there. Once 
once again, just in these upper body ties. Not much action for scoring wise. In those collar ties. McKenna's trying to really get that hand down. Just those snaps really going at it. There's about 10 seconds left to go in this first period. That's gonna end the first period. No points scored. Great match so far. Both girls really dominant in their ties. Staying low. Brenda's coach is Chris Nailsnick. McKenna's coach, Chris Atkinson. Brenda with a heavy ride on top, putting the pressure forward. McKenna still in a base though, hasn't been broken down completely flat. Brenda's using her knees to drive. She can't get too high here. And there we go, Brenda gets her flat. Let's see what she'll be able to work here. Looks like she's going for a cradle. We'll see if she's able to lock that up. Put some points on the board. It's broken flat again with that far knee, with that um, tight waist ankle. We saw that a lot yesterday too. Looks like she's working for a wrist. Still a bunch of pressure on top here. No points still on the board with a minute left to go in the second period. We've got stalling on red. Controversy with the coaches and the refs here. Brenna doing a great job, riding tough. McKenna's still on bottom. Now Brenda got hit with stalling as well. Both girls, one stalling call. Kenna in a quad pod. Brenda's got that, she had that leg lace. She's driving forward with that uh, tight waist ankle, which I saw a lot yesterday as well from Brenda. Seems to be her go-to here to break them flat. Now she's working that cradle once again as she did in the beginning of this period. 20 seconds left to go. Not much happening yet. Brenda's overall career record for school, for the school season is 38 and one. McKenna, still only a freshman, 30 and four. They're reset here in the third period. Brenna takes bottom. We haven't been able to see her work bottom yet. And she's gonna get an escape here. As long as she's able to hold her dominant position here, keep her lead, she'll be able to pull through in this match. McKenna going for a knee tap there, knee pick. Not able to get it. Still working here. Both girls in those ties. Collar ties mostly. You really gotta see who wants it more here. There's a minute 15 left to go. Really all McKenna needs is one takedown to secure the match. Oh, Brenda able to shrug that, secure another two. 3-0 for Brenda with one minute left to go. That could have been the deciding takedown, but there's still plenty of time for McKenna to work. Once again, she's got that Western hook and she's going for the cradle. McKenna can't seem to work up with her Brenda's heavy pressure. Dominant ride on top. She Brenda knows that she's got to keep her down. 
or at least not let her score another three points. Okay, just seem a little upset about some of these calls. McKenna almost had her a little bit high, could have caught her. Unfortunately, she couldn't. It's going for a quick fat man's roll. Last match, last second effort. And that's going to do it. Brenda Banks, your 235 champion. You got to love the celebration. Congrats, Brenda. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's going to be the last match for the girls today. This was an awesome day, honestly. The finals were beautiful. We got to see wrestling, sport of art, and it was just amazing. Congrats, McKenna, on your second place finish as well. All right, guys, it was great being here this week. Being a part of this awesome event, first ever PIAA sanctioned girls wrestling in the state of PA, which was awesome. There was a big movement for it, and we finally got it.